Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of three equations with three variables a, b, and c, as you can see over here. So let's get started with the solution. And here's the very first step we are going to do. Let me call this equation, the first one as equation number one, the second equation as number two, and this third equation as number three. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and add all these three equations. On the left hand side, if we add a square plus b square plus c square, I can write a square plus b square plus c square equals to now let's add right hand side 2 plus 3 and negative 4 if we add these numbers they add up to simply 1 and then negative a b and negative a b is going to give us negative 2 a b and negative a c and negative a c is going to give us negative 2 a c and finally negative b c and negative b c is going to give us negative 2 b c and now let's go ahead and move this negative 2 a b negative 2 a c and negative 2 b c on the left hand side so thus our all our terms are ended up on the left hand side and we have uh, just one on the right hand side and now we can see the left hand side this represents this a plus b plus c square according to this formula so the left hand side could be written as a plus b plus c square equals to 1 and now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square so this square and square root they undo each other we ended up with a plus b plus c turns out to be positive or negative 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation 1. And here I have copied down equation 1 over here. Let's go ahead and move this negative AB and negative AC on the left hand side. And here's our equation once we moved a, b and a, c on the left hand side. And we can see on the left hand side a could be factored out. So if we factor out a, so we could have a, a plus b plus c in the parentheses equal to 2. And I can call this as equation number 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on our equation number 2. And here I have just copied down this equation 2 over here. Let's go ahead and move this negative AB and negative BC on the left hand side. And here's our new equation once we have moved AB and BC on the left hand side. And now on the left hand side we can see that B is in common so we can factor out b outside in parentheses we're going to have a, a plus b plus c equals to 3 and let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 5 and now in this next step let's focus on our equation 3 and here i have just copied down equation 3 as you can see and now we are going to move this negative AC and negative BC on the left hand side and here's our new equation once we have moved this AC and BC on the left hand side as we can see now on the left hand side C is in common let's go ahead and factor out C so in the parentheses we will end up with A plus B plus C equals to negative Four. and let me go ahead and call this as an equation number six now let's recap we got a plus b plus c value equals to plus or minus one and we got these equations four five and six 
And here's our next step. Let's pick a plus b plus c equals to positive one value now. And we are going to plug it in this a plus b plus c value in all these three equations. And here's our equation four. So this become a times a plus b plus c value is one equals to two. a times one equals two, a equals to two. So our a value turns out to be two. And here's our equation number five. Let's go ahead and put down a plus b plus c value equal to one in this equation. So b times one equal to three. So b times one is b equal to three is another solution. And here's our equation six, and we are going to replace a plus b plus c equal to one value. So we got c times one equal to negative four, or simply c turns out to be negative four. So thus, if we pick a plus b plus c equal to one, we got our a value equals to two, b value is three, and c is negative. Four and here is our final step. Let's pick this time a plus b plus c equal to negative one value, and we are going to repeat the same process for equations four, five, and six. And here is our equation four. Let's go ahead and replace a plus b plus c by negative one. So this is going to be a times negative one equals to two. So this is going to give us a equals to negative two value, and likewise we got this equation five over here this time, and let's go ahead and replace a plus b plus c by negative one. So this is going to give us b times negative one equal to three. So that means our b value is going to be negative. Three, and finally here is our equation six. And let's repeat the same process. So c times negative one equal to negative four. So if we multiply both sides by negative sign, so c is going to give us positive four. So thus we got two sets of solution. The first one is a equals to two. B equals to three, and C equal to negative four. The second set of solution is A equals to negative two, B equals to negative three, and C equal to positive four. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.